What is meant by targeted therapy for AML? Well, increasingly, uh, treatments for cancers in general have uh, been uh, driven by uh, targets within the cells, molecular targets or pathways that are present in normal cell development, uh, but may become aberrant or abnormal in the presence of cancer. And uh, where historically we have given drugs that are pretty nonspecific, they generally target DNA, RNA proteins in the cells and uh, will affect normal cells as much as they affect abnormal cells. In targeted therapy, specifically for AML, we now have uh, things like uh, IDH1, IDH2 uh, that are in, uh, in the cells internally, or we may have cellular proteins, things like uh, what we call CD33 or a cluster of differentiation 33, which is a protein on the surface of the cell. And those are three examples of things that can be targeted uh, in AML for therapeutic benefit. There are uh, BCL2 inhibitor, uh, venetoclax. Uh, BCL2 is a, uh, something that we find in the mitochondria of the cell, so the very specific internal component of the cell, which can also be targeted. So increasingly, we're trying to find ways to specifically find uh, targets that we can exploit for therapeutic benefit without having uh, the nonspecific effects that we see in regular chemotherapeutic agents uh, that are attacking DNA, RNA, and proteins.